Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am uh, replacing the pinion seal and the differential uh, on a, a 2001 Mercedes-Benz E320 uh, W210. So to start off, I'm removing the this uh, the bolts from two bolts 30 13 millimeters from this bracket just to make it easier and if it was if you cannot get your flex this to come out which has to come out before you can get to the differential um, the the collar nut in the back of the differential and the pinion seal you'll have to remove the flex disc um, and uh, you'll need to so so if you cannot do that you can even remove the the two bolts that uh, hold the uh, center support for the drive shaft um, just to make it easier but um, you'll have to get the car um, so i have a lift uh, which makes it a lot easier but you'll have to jack up the rear of the car and um, because uh, as you can see there are like two two uh, tripods for lack of a better term that on the two sides of the flex disc um, that hold the sort of sandwich the flex disc one comes from the um, propeller sh shaft you know the rear propeller shaft or the, the drive um, drive shaft and then the other one from the differential uh, pay attention to where the the washers go uh, uh, and you can you can look at this video for that configuration but um, so you want to remove all six of the bolts these are um, uh, at least in my case, I mean, it depends on when your flex disc was replaced. Um, you would need either uh, the T55 Torx sockets um, or, uh, you know, you, you need to have a set of metric sockets. And you want to make sure once, once you remove the flex disc and put it to the side, then uh, maybe with... Um, uh, nail polish or, or some kind of permanent marker after you've cleaned it up uh, make a mark where you find that that that's the collar nut and 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 this is a 210 millimeter uh, diameter of a, a differential uh, these cars come uh, with different sizes so if if yours i mean um, this requires a 41 millimeter um, socket uh, and um, some others, some other uh, differentials um, uh, would require 27 millimeter or 30 millimeter uh, sockets. And you also need a, a dial type of torque wrench, uh, not the clickable type. And of course, some um, socket adapters uh, to measure in inch, inch pounds. So uh, the on, on this card, this specific uh, uh, differential the torque value is 100 um, it, it says in, in the service manual uh, greater than 180 uh, Newton meters or 133 foot pounds plus between 19 and um, 21.68 inch pounds of rotational torque which you'll need this uh, so so not only you mark it and measure the threads of you know whatever threads show up show up uh, so that you can put it back together exactly as you find it otherwise you'll mess up your uh, your differential so mark it with with a permanent marker and also measure the rotational torque value and then put it back together exactly the way it was uh, so um, you'll need a uh, an impact 
gun because otherwise this this job would be very hard it would be difficult to do uh, because of the torque setting of this nut and where it is and especially if you don't have a lift if you're working on jack stands so uh, you want to of course chuck the front wheels and uh, jack the rear of the car and then um, put two jack stands there and just enough sufficient room for you to to be down there and you'll need a um, uh, three job puller that you can borrow also from other parts stores in the US uh, uh, in order to um, take out this flange. And you don't need to drain the differential first, just allow it to drain as you're removing the seal. You want to have a uh, fresh, fresh liter of uh, the differential gear uh, oil that I have in the beginning of the video. Uh, it's about it's, it's very cheap from FCP Euro in the US. Uh, this seal has been leaking and as you can see the bottom of the differential and you know driving on the highway wherever it has gone it is uh, you know the bottom of the car looks oily. Uh, this seal doesn't have a lip unlike the new seal from Corico uh, that I also have. I have the part number and the pricing in the beginning of the video and I'll Put it also in the uh, in the description of the video uh, using a fill a, a straight a straight uh, screwdriver uh, leveraging it against the opening of the differential uh, you can pull the old seal out and uh, do it slower than I'm doing uh, because uh, as you'll notice here, it will uh, fly out in a second. I mean, do it with less force. But um, just give it a cleanup. This job is really not very difficult, but you must have the tools that I am um, listing in the description. Otherwise, um, it could take you much longer to do this. And at times, so, so when you're taking the flex disc out, uh, you'll need to put the car in neutral. Uh, the side of it that you'll have to turn, the, the rear propeller shaft, you'll have to turn that um, uh, a couple of times in order to get to the bolts and nuts. Uh, so you'll put the car temporarily in neutral and then put it back in, uh, in park. And the same way when you want to turn the flange and connect it to the differential, the car has to be, of course, the tires have to be off the ground. Um, comparing the two here, and as you can see, they look very different. Uh, the new one has a lip which seals it much better against uh, future leaks. Uh, they look entirely different. And um, according to the workshop manual, uh, you want to rub some uh, some of the same differential oil around it and then gently press it in with your hands on all sides And if you have any questions, uh, I always respond to my to the comments and questions uh, within 48 hours, uh, minimally. Uh, I'm using um, the old seal uh, to just hammer in, hammer in the, the new seal uh, initially. And then just um, after it has gone on a gun and, and just a little bit on all sides, then uh, start tapping with um, a hammer. It will not hurt it until um, you hear a different type of sound, metal and metal. And then you know it's seated well.
if you have a leak, so uh, uh, depending on the size of the leak uh, or severity of the leak, so this is of course the best option to permanently fix it. The other is to you want to you want to check this, especially when the car is this old. I mean, this is a twenty three year old car now. Um, and, and the original seal, if it has never been replaced, then um, it will develop leaks over time. Uh, you, in order not to destroy your differential, uh, just check and see that uh, if, you, if you have leaks, periodically uh, refill the differential. It has a drain, a drain hole in the bottom and a fill hole. Um, the drain hole is on the right side of the differential and the bottom. Uh, I also have a video how to replace your uh, differential fluid, so you might want to look at that. But in the fill-in uh, hole is uh, on the left side, uh, looking at the back of the car, uh, higher from uh, where the drain hole is. So you want to uh, periodically uh, check and, uh, and make sure that uh, you have enough fluid inside. Otherwise, the gears and such will wear out, and, uh, and then it would be an expensive proposition because the <clears throat> differential probably, I mean, a new one costs in the neighborhood of $4,000. Uh, and then I'm using uh, 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 I think it's a wheel bearing. Uh, you can use um, wood too. You would need to uh, uh, drill a hole in the center of it and then uh, probably that would be better but um, I'm using this uh, wheel bearing to um, hammer hammer the flange in all the way to the end and so initially I measured it, uh, the rotational uh, torque uh, the average reading, as you noticed, was about 11, um, 11 inch pounds. Uh, it should be between 19 and 21.6 something. And so I bought this car second hand, so somebody must have, uh, must have done something because it couldn't have come from the factory uh, with, uh, with that value. But... Um, and you'll need uh, some kind of Loctite. Blue is probably enough. I'm putting a generous amount on it. And uh, and so when you take out the nut, it's important that you... I mean, you'll, you'll use a gun to remove it initially, but then by hand, take it out. Uh, and, and where it ends turning, you, you need to mark that. In my case, it... It, it came out exactly at the, at, at the point that I had it marked already. Um, because you want to, you wanna, when, you, when you put it back together, you want to insert the collar nut exactly where you found it. Until you reach uh, your markings and you end up with a straight line. As you can see, I'm, I'm just a few turns away and you also want to count the threads in this case there was just one thread left at this point I have the rear tires um, on the on the lift ramps so in your case on the ground you'll have to lift the car a couple of times and put it back and now I'm at a point where I can torque it so this is a torque wrench and I'm torquing it to 133 or one uh, foot pounds or 180 Newton meters So my marking is aligned and I'm punching it so that the collar nut doesn't come off. And 
and uh, so I did lose about um, I would say a quarter of a liter of um, fluid and this is where the fill hole is The fluid that I'm recommending, uh, it's uh, not only as cheap, but also you can uh, you can um, you can pump it by hand. The the cap is uh, you can just pull the cap and and the nozzle comes out, and then you keep a squeezing the bottle. And you notice the fluid coming out, and at some point you have squeezed it um, as far as you can, and then you'll have to remove it and let air in. So, um, and then, um, and then uh, pump again. And you'll have to do that a couple of times. So this is better than draining the fluid all the way out. Uh, where you would lose a lot more fluid. Now, if you haven't replaced your differential fluid for um, 30, 40,000 miles, then that's probably what you need to do. Start with draining it first and then it then fill it back in. But I had replaced the fluid recently on this car. Therefore, I'm just replacing about a quarter of a liter or what came out during the seal replacement. As you notice, the, 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 my marking on the collar nut is just a little lower than the one to the right of it. So it probably wasn't torqued properly last time. And, um, and that's okay. And so at least I know it's, uh, it's very close to where it was. Because there's a crush washer inside, and and if you if you torque it any more than that, then you could um, you could crush it fur further, and then the distances, of course, between the gears, the pinion gear, and the others, and that could that would cause your differential to um, go kaput. Um, it's very important that this is set correctly, and so using this. Uh, uh, dial torque now I'm getting uh, about 19 on average I've done it multiple times I'm just showing a couple of it here but uh, I was getting about n between 19.2 and 19.4 um, so now it's within a spec and uh, much better than it was before after that you just set the flex disc back in and uh, you can use any um, any wheel grease wheel bearing grease I'm using the one that Mercedes-Benz recommends and um, I uh, I had some of this on hand and using a pry bar um, put the shaft back in So the washers don't touch the, any of the three legs of the uh, of the propeller shaft or the uh, flange front differential. So the washer always touches the uh, rubber or the flex disc.
uh, keep that in mind or as you remove it pay attention to it so what what you want to remember is that the washer always touches the flex disc and not the two tripods and then um, installation is the reverse of removal torque these 13 millimeter bolts and uh, you're pretty much pretty much done lower the car and test drive and then check for leak and use some brake cleaner to clean up everything but i hope you found this video of use and talk to you soon bye bye